Hi, welcome back again. We're ready for our next one. This one's called Moore's Mickle White and the Tangerine Dress. It's my all time favorite, I'm afraid, but it is beautiful. Once I read it, you'll get a chuckle. And the last, the person that has written it was by Christine and we're going to make, try and do the best we can to pronounce the last name is Balda Chinchino. So, you'll find it in the library as well. I know that it's here in the library. And I also had to stop out to grab my bling because a lot of children ask me about my pet spider. Her name is Sasha. She stays with me all the time. She's quite friendly. She's really easy to take care of. Isn't she neat? Okay, let's begin with our story. Morris Minkle White and the Tangerine Dress. Morris Minkle White has a mother named Maury and a cat named Moo. And Morris likes Sundays because his mother makes him pancakes on Sunday. Oh, how many of you love pancakes? I do. Mondays are great too, because on Monday, Morris goes to school. Morris likes lots of things about school. He likes to paint. He likes to do puzzles. He likes the apple juice at snack time, and singing the loudest during circle time. How many of you love circle time like I love circle time? Most of all, Morris likes the dress up center and the tangerine dress. Morris likes the color of the dress. It reminds him of tigers, the sun, and his mother's hair. She likes the noises the dresses make. Swish, swish, swish. When he walks, just like I do. And crinkle, crinkle, crinkle when he sits down like I do, and takes turn wearing all different kinds of shoes, but his most favorite ones go click, click, click across the floor. Sometimes the boys make fun of Morris. Sometimes the girls do too. Morris pretends he can't hear their words, over the swish, swish, swishes, and the crinkle, crinkle, crinkles, and the click, click, clicks, yes, he makes when he walks. Morris pretends he can't hear their words, but he can. I keep forgetting to show pictures. It's always good to see pictures of the book. It helps us to understand the book. On Monday, Becky tried to pull the dress right off his back. You can't wear it. You're a boy. On Tuesday, Allie Henry and the other boys wouldn't let Morris ride on their spaceship unless he took the dress off. Astronauts don't wear dresses. On Wednesday, B and Lila noticed Morris' fingernails. His mother had painted them for him that night before. They chased him around the playground shouting, Pinky fingers, pinky fingers. And on Thursday, the boys wouldn't sit near Morris at the snack table. We don't want you to turn up or turn us into girls. 
Isn't that sad? We shouldn't do that, right? On Friday, Morris pretends he had a tummy ache when he thought all the kids in his class and all the mean things they did and said. His tummy ached for real. His mother let him stay in bed and read books about elephants. Mo, Moo sat in his lap. Moo liked elephants too. Do we all remember who Moo is? I think it's his cat. On Saturday, Morris's mother brought him some apple juice. As he took a sip, he stroked his hair and Moo purred loudly. Morris suddenly felt well enough to do a puzzle. He hummed to himself and he began to feel better. On Sunday, Morris crawled out from under the covers. After a wonderful dream about being on a space safari with Moo. In the dream, they saw big blue elephants and tigers the color of the sun that Morris could hold in the palm of his hand. The elephants swish, swish, swish as they moved through the grass, and the tigers ate giant leaves that crinkled, crinkled, as their tiny teeth chewed them. The bottoms of the spaceship click, click, click under Morris's fingers. Isn't that awesome? Morris wanted to share all the amazing things he had seen. He took out his brushes and put a, on his smock and and began to paint using every color he could imagine. He showed his painting to his mom when he was done and pointed out a big blue elephant and a tiny tiger, the, the color of the sun, the tall grasses and the giant leaves. He pointed out moon in his shiny round space helmet isn't that a work of art? I love art. And who is that? His mother asked, pointing at the little boy in the tangerine dress. Riding atop the big blue elephant, Morris was hoping she'd ask. That's me, he said. I would love to ride a big blue elephant, wouldn't you? On Monday, Morris went to school and with his painting rolled up in his backpack, when he had the chance, he put on his dress that reminded him of tigers and the sun and his mother's hair. Morris's swish, swish, swish and the tanger Tangerine dress crinkled, crinkled, crinkled. His shoes clicked, click, click. Morris felt wonderful. Ellie and Henry wouldn't let him on their spaceship, so Morris built his own. He hung his painting on the front of it and he climbed in, ready to take off. Are you really elephants in space? Ali asked. And tigers? If you follow me, we can find out, Morris offered. Ali and Henry followed Morris to the planet they had never visited before. <clears throat> As they explored, Morris swish, swish, swish and the tangerine dress crinkled, 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 and his shoes click, click, click. Isn't that nice to share with one another?
By the time they returned to Earth, Allie Henry had decided that it didn't matter if astronauts wore dresses or not. The best astronaut astronauts were the ones who knew where all the good adventures were hiding. <gasps> Morris smiled. He already knew that. When snack time was over, Becky demanded the dress. Morris told her she could have it when he was done with it. Morris smiled as he swished, crinkled, clicked, and back to his spaceship. This boy does. Can you see the spaceship? Isn't that awesome? And I think that's the end of our story. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. So maybe I will race out and buy an orange crinkled dress. Take care.